Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I'm building this Expedition truck. So in this video I'm installing this rear deck on the back of the truck. Generally I filmed the intro to my videos before I start doing the job but I forgot this week so I'm filming, filming it at the end. Uh, it's a bit of a longer video than what I normally make so if you get all the way through this one you are a true fan of this project and I really appreciate you and thank you. I've had a lot of people messaging me about the boat saying when, when are you going to make another video on that. There will be more videos on the boat but at the moment I really just need to focus on this. So thank you all so much for watching and please enjoy this installation. Alrighty, these actuators, just like the rest of them, I bought from a manufacturer in China off Alibaba. And these ones can lift 10,000 newtons, so they can lift a ton, which is probably a fair bit more than what they need to. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so this is it mounted. Now that I've got it mounted and I've had a look at it, I realise that it needs a few little modifications. I may have got a little bit overexcited here and mounted it a little bit prematurely. Um, so I think the best thing to do will be to take it off and put it on some saw horses and do the things that need to be done and then put it back on rather than trying to do it here, making it harder for myself. But before I do that, I'll just show you how it works because that's pretty cool. So it's got, at the moment, it's got a, little Wi-Fi remote that go talks to the controller, but I would like to put some wired switches on the controllers and I think I, I, I wanna run all the switches through a Raspberry Pi at some point so I can you know, control it with my phone or a tablet. But that's yet to be done at the moment. We just got the remote. So all you basically do is just push the button and it folds up. I won't go all the way with it because it takes ages, but you get the picture. So now I'm just going to bring it down, take it off, and I'll do the little modifications that we, it needs, and then we'll chuck it back on. I've put it on the saw horses now. I just need to, you can see there's a lot of rust along here because where I had this stored, it was basically sitting in a muddy puddle for about, oh, it would have been at least 12 months. So that's all rusted up there. So I'll just hit that with a wire brush and we'll touch that up. And then just around the front here, these are where there's some support legs bolt on. I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but I welded the plates on top of the frame. And I'm using aluminium decking on top of this, so that's going to cause a problem because, you know, it sits up higher than the rest of the frame. So I could either check the bottom of the aluminium decking out, which probably would not look good at all, or I can just cut these plates off and sink them down flush with the top of the frame. So that's what I'm going to do. That's mounted. Now I'm just putting on, I've made some support legs to hold it up when we're parked up. So I've put one on, this is it. You pull this handle out and it folds inward like that. And then it's got a, uh, like a ratchet on it where you can wind it down or wind it up. These were like some caravan support legs and I just extended them a little bit. We've got the other one over here on the bench. So I'm gonna bolt that on and then this is the winch to lift and lower the spare tire, spare wheel. I'll mount that. Got the winch mounted. So as you can see, the winch is down here. It's a two-way winch, so you can lift and lower with it. And it goes up to a pulley there, over to there, and then it'll come down to the spare wheel, which will be here. It'll sit on these bars here and it'll bolt onto there. So you'll be able to lift it up with the winch and then pull it out and lower it back down. So I'm pretty happy with all that. Now I'm going to start looking at the decking putting the decking on. So I'll just put the, put the frame back down and then we'll have a look at the decking and how all that's gonna work. And where's the remote? The decking that I'm using is aluminium decking. I got it from a company in Australia called Deco Wood. They make 
aluminium decking and facade products. Uh, it's basically, it's a, th it's a three mil profile. And it's got like a powder coated finish on it with a bit of some kind of grip stuff. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to picture frame the deck, what's called a picture frame. So I'm going to put a piece of decking around the outside like this. And oh, oh gosh. A piece of decking around the outside like this. It'll be mitered in the corners. And then the decking boards will, will just butt up to butt into this picture frame and it'll give it a nice a really nice finish look nice and clean but now that i've started having a look at the decking i've realized the frame needs a couple more mods i don't think i'm going to take it off again because it's just annoying So I've mounted this picture frame and I'm ready to start putting the decking inside it. But I've just realized that I've had a major, major oversight, which happens from time to time with me. But this one is a real doozy. Uh, basically, I built this frame about a year ago. And I, at the time, now I can remember, I made it to, I, I'm allowed to for 19 mil decking to go on top and around the outside of it but this decking is 25 mil and obviously i got a little bit overexcited and started mounting the decking and i didn't it didn't even occur to me to make sure that it was going to fit where it needed to and it, that thought didn't actually occur to me until last night and when i'd already mounted this picture frame so i tested it last night and it's just just touching in that top corner up there so it's very annoying but anyone that's watched, watched this channel for a little while will know that I'm prone to doing this sort of thing from time to time. I don't know how I do it. Some things I th I are really well thought out and other things I just, I don't know. But I'm going to have to cut this picture frame off and then just check a bit out of this board and this board. This board needs about 10 mil and that board needs about 5 mil. It's not the end of the world. It's just a bit of a setback. We're almost back to square one. I've checked the boards out. I've cut the miters on the corners and now I'm just gluing some packers in there and then I'm gonna glue the packers to the frame. It's not an ideal kind of fixing situation, but it'll be fine. Got the edge pieces on and now I'm just starting to cut the decking in. So I'm just gonna cut all the lengths and put them in, make sure it all fits and then I'll start fixing them down. This aluminum decking is so easy to fix down. For starters, it's really straight. <clears throat> you don't have to wedge it out like you would with the timber deck and you don't have to drill through it for the fixings either. There's just clips that go in between each piece <clears throat> that holds it down and I'll probably glue them as well just to be safe. That's all the full length cut. Now I will just start fixing them on. And I'll probably, I didn't get end caps for them, so I'll probably just use some Sikaflex and just cork in each end to make sure spiders and water can't go in there. So to fix them on, really easy to fix this stuff on actually, like I was saying, hang on. So there's just these little clips. You see that? They just go in between each board and then you put a screw through the middle and it just pulls them down. Couldn't be easier.
That's all the full boards on. It looks really good. So I've got to put one more board in, but I'm going to have to rip a board down. It's not quite a full width board, so I've already done that. I've ripped a board down, and now I just need to find a way to fill this little piece in here. And what I've found is that a bit of 20 mil channel slides in there just perfectly. So I'm just going to slide a piece of channel in there, and then I've got um, one of these that I stuffed up, and I'll just rip a piece of the of ripper piece out of it and I'll glue it onto the front so it gives it a kind of a finished look. Here I've come up with an even better or an easier idea. Uh, if I put a piece of 20 mil alley tube in there, because it's actually slightly over 20 mil, the internal dimension of that, I'll put a 20 mil tube in there and then a bit of 1.6 black aluminium angle. It kind of just slips down inside neatly. I can do it with one hand, not really. Anyway, it'll just be a black line going along the back here. And I think that'll be all right. So I'll just glue that in, then we'll chuck this board on. It's been about 24 hours since I laid all this and the glue will have had enough time to hold. So now it's time to lift it and make sure it'll lift up properly and that it fits in nice, neatly. So we'll do that and then we will look at chucking some latches on it. Okay, it goes up, the actuators can lift it easily and it fits in nicely. So now I just need to put some latches on here. I've got some ready to go. Whoops, these, whoop, these, over center latches. So initially I was planning on locking this. I had a, a three-way latch that went in the middle here and then it you'd like pull the latch and it'd shoot a bar out either side and the bar came out this hole in this bracket here but i figured that i figured it really needs to be it needs to be pulled back in to the back of the truck to support it better whereas that bar just kind of uh it didn't really support it it just stopped it from going back it didn't hold it hold it in if you know what i mean so i got rid of that <coughs> and i'm gonna bolt these over center latches onto this bracket here and put the put the hook on the on the deck. I'll probably cut these brackets back a bit and cut that little tube out there because we don't need that anymore. Bolt those on and that'll pull it back in against the truck. It'll support it while we're driving and stop the actuators from getting shock loaded. I just got to countersink the holes in these brackets. I'm using 10 mil bolts and I didn't have a countersink big enough to do a 10 mil countersunk bolt. So I just got a 20 mil drill bit and sharpened it to the same pitch as the bolt head. And I'm just using that to make the countersink. That latch is on and it's firmly held back to the truck. So around this side, I had to pull the board off because the packing and glue situation wasn't really working. I'm gonna to have to fix that on a little bit better. But I think we've seen enough of, uh, on the back deck for this video. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm just working my way slowly around the, the truck trying to finish all the outside. So next video, I'll probably be going down this side and. Uh, finalizing the seals for the slide out room hopefully so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon